so hello guys uh so for in this video i'm going to review a rear a rear camera for your dash cams so this dash cam is my third bot uh third buy from a different seller so i guess going to show you the reason why i bought this for the third time is it for the good reasons or is it for the bad reasons so i guess let's just find out and here I just unboxing about three of them and I'm going to test them one by one just wait and see watch for my video until the end right okay so you guys know this uh, without this rear camera your dash cam would be recording automatically so you must just have to do this one so, <coughs> so this is my camera end I guess we just disconnected them before I we try it one by one. But let's try for the first unit. Now first we have to ensure this is a five pin inside and then together we have our, our five pins. And the newly purchased was female and then our old original cable was male. So plug it in. Now we're already plugging in and we shall see what happened on the camera side uh, on the dash cam. The dash cam shows some uh, display on this side so I guess the camera unit was okay and let's try for another set okay this is the test second unit test it shows a different display uh, it's better than before I think guess the second unit is working fine let's try for the third one all right this is the third unit let's plug them in So we should show point to somewhere. I I can see uh, from a dash cam from here, from the rear side, I can see there's a change of view, change of sight, change of light input in the dash cam. So I guess it's working fine. If you want to see what is happening there, I guess you can see focus. See all the small focus inside. Okay, I think I should point it this view to somewhere else. And it's working fine. It's showing the the rear the rear mirror. The rear windshield for this. So that's all. Okay, this is my dash cam. I bought this model like a year before, a year ago, and it's been working fine since I bought it. Except that for the rear camera unit that I have bought it uh, for the third time this time, but then I bought it from a different supplier for different uh, shopee seller. So let me sh I show you how I did my wiring. So my wire goes uh, from this side. This is for the power supplies and this is for the the rear camera uh, the rear camera using the ear jack I wonder how they wired this into this kind of things I uh, this is my first time to see uh, this kind of a uh, power power supply to uh, an ear jack that make uh, that use as a power supply <coughs> so my wire oh yes my wires goes at hidden at this panel and then it goes inside here you can open this up this panel and then for the power supply I wired it down into this cabinet uh, this glove compartment which is I have rewired it from here I kind of disconnected the power supply here which is meant for the uh, for me it's not suitable to use the power supply over here because you're going to use uh for to put your drinks on here so it's not kind of reasonable to put here so i reroute it into another compartment into my compartment so this is the compartment that i use rewired it into this one i have rewired it like uh past six months 
and it's been working fine. Ah, one thing about this camera, I uh, want this dash cam, it doesn't work as normally as before. The the camera, uh, the battery, the, uh, the battery kind of having a failure. The battery is having failure than before. Uh, it doesn't working like last time. Like when you, whenever you turn off your car, turn off your engines, the dash cam should be last like about three seconds to properly shut down itself. The but this one, the, when you shut down your engines, it's just straight away turn off straight away. So I guess the battery has uh, malfunctions. Oh, anyway. Let's resume our, our wiring. <coughs> I rewrote my wirings uh, for the rear camera side. I hit it. I hit the wires along this side, and then I kind of drag it along that rear side. So let's go to the back. From the rear end, the wires have been. Uh, I pull it out from here, and then I kind of it goes to here. I think that the proper route you have to go is through the driver's side and then out through the, the right side of the car. This is much nearer, much closer. And then the wires goes here, over here. And then the red right one is responsible for the uh, reverse, reverse camera. So, The way that I wired it, I have to cut off some wire from the brake light. Uh, no, no, not the brake light, the reverse light. Then I kind of plug them together. I prefer to use this kind of plug. Just in case I need to plug it off and plug in it back. So the way it goes over here. And then, this is the camera. The second time I bought it. I thought it's going to last, but it doesn't last long. Yep. For this unit, I bought it. I think I'm by six months. I guess. Let me check again. Then this unit kind of exposed to the air for a long time. So if you can see, there's a water before inside. I guess the circuit has been short circuit. And for this side, I have uh, put some silicone to just prevent some water breaking in some water leakage or something and some sort like that and I have to some part of this car just in, just uh, to prevent the wires uh, slight to prevent the damage on the wires so I guess this time it doesn't work since the camera itself has been exposed to the water and got our camera unit rear camera unit uh, damage Alright, it should be power on after you turn on the engine and then the rear camera should be appearing. So this is my rear camera and then let's check for the reverse camera function. Is it working? Yeah, it does. It does work. Now let's try for another unit. Okay, this is my second unit. It shows much better view. Than the previous one. Let's check with another the third one. Okay, let's check for the third one. It also shows some clear view for the reverse one, reverse camera. That's a good news. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna try with the the first unit. Okay, let's put to the reverse positions gear. It's kind of blurry than before than the other two. I guess there's a uh, not no consistency in this uh, rear camera. Then I wonder why why my second purchase doesn't show any good uh, resolutions to this camera. So I guess that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.